Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about another disaster recovery. Like if you would like to take the copy of your snapshot, RDS snapshot to a particular S3 bucket, then how we can take that uh, a particular uh, snapshot to a particular S3 bucket. And if you want to restore, how we can restore back also. Okay guys, so let's move on to the AWS console. I have already logged in here in my AWS console. This is my Virginia region. This, this is my RDS I recently I have visited and I have already created in my previous session uh, how we can take the snapshot, how we can restore back the snapshot. Now let's take the snapshot back up to a particular S3 bucket. Then how we can take that uh, uh, snapshot to a particular S3 bucket. So let me first create one S3 bucket here. RDS. like that RDS snapshot or something like that and choose the uh, this same region and as a good practice block all this thing public access so this is the good general practice and by default disable versioning all so let's create the bucket the, in this bucket only we are going to bucket name same already exist okay this is point guys keep in mind uh, like this could be the unique or across the globe so if that name is already there then you can't use that name same name okay guys so let's go it's very case sensitive this uh, s3 bucket name so this bucket is created so now let's go to the rds snapshots so this is my rds snapshot if you right side from here if you click on snapshot then you can see list of all the snapshot and system generator snapshot also you can see and service share with me if someone share with you in public snapshot also you can able to see okay guys so let's whatever snapshot we have taken manually how we can take back to this particular s3 bucket let me show you that suppose this is the snapshot i want to take back to the s3 bucket okay so let's select this one and go to the action section and here we have option export to s3 let's click on that and let's give the identifier what the name you would like to give suppose i want to give like S3 something like that snapshot RDS exports S3 so any name you can give and here export data format option is there all data include at least 20 GB data or you would like to take some partition if you if you need your by, by partition based you can give that particular identifier or delimiter how you want to like schema or table wise how you want to do the partitioning or let's for this session let's select all these things and let's select here bucket which bucket you want to take so rds snapshot this is the bucket i want to take and if you have any prefix specified the prefix name also and this is the one important thing i am role which is required for uh, uh, moving the uh, all the snapshot to the particular s3 bucket right whatever snapshot you are selecting right so let's click on create rds i don't have any role i will show you that i am role how basically it is looks okay and give that name here uh, name i can give as this one with the IAM something like that we can give and encryption key we have to give while you are doing that yes I have already one encryption key if you don't have encryption key then how we can give enter here and then here it will ask the enter the ARN name so let me show you how it will be looks like so let me go to this key management service and Here are the manage key we have here available. So, so this is the demo key I have created. If you want to create new key, what you can do just click on create and systematic select encrypted and next and then you have to give your key name description and then next once you give this then you can able to create. Okay guys. So suppose test and then go to the next. Then here it will come here administrative section what want permission suppose the cloud tech which user I have logged in same user you want to give then go to the next and then user permission suppose same this permission only and go to the next and here the preview and this key will be looks like this if you finish then it will create and same key ARN we have to give let me show you that ARN how it will look this is the ARN we have to copy and we have to paste here ARN okay guys then it will automatically select. So since I have already have one key here ARN, so let's select this one 
and let's click on export to S3. Now it start exporting, so it will take few minutes. I will show you how IM role looks. Okay, guys. So export is started here. So let me go to the IM section here. How the IM role looks like for this particular export snapshot, right? Let me show you that because that is the very important part. Otherwise, if that role, uh, IM role is not proper, permission is there, it will throw an error. Okay, guys. This part keep in mind. Okay. So open this one and what the permission is added. Basically, it's given S3 permission, S3 put list, get object, delete object, and get bucket location. If you want, you can give S3 all permission also. Like, uh, let me show you one, how it will be looks like. One permission, suppose, let me go to this one. And here I have S3 full access. Let me show you that. Yeah, S3 full access. If you want, you can give S3 full access. For that, how you need to give S3 colon star. Instead of put, list, get, all these things, right? If you just put S3 colon star, then it will be S3 full access. Okay, guys. And then what we need here, we need to specify the resource, which resource we are going to access. Either you can specify S3 star here. Suppose ARN S3 colon star, then it will be all the S3. Or if you want to specify a particular bucket or particular any other ARN, then you can specify that particular ARN also here. So that other, or uh, this particular, uh, this IM road, we can use for that particular purpose only so that's the is kind of one more level of security so if you want to know more about this im so i will request you guys please have a look my im session there i have explained each and everything more details okay guys so this is how it will be looks that im policy and this what this is what we have attached to this uh while we are exporting that uh, snapshot right that time we have attached to this particular uh, uh snapshot policy okay guys so let me show you that so export is in progress let me show you that so it will take few minutes so i can pause this video and i will back after some time okay guys export is complete or not it will take few more second i guess still in starting mode and if you see this is the location s3 bucket right if you go to this particular location we will not able to see our data here if you go here this S3 bucket is still an empty in that uh, whatever export uh, RDS snapshot we are doing, right? It's not yet came here. So once it is completed successful, then only we are able to see like other like this. Let me show you that. So still it is a starting and uh, it, if you if your status is changed to complete, then only we are able to see in this particular bucket and go to the snapshot. And if you go to the export in S3 here, still now it is an in progress. So hoping within a minute or second it will be complete. So let me go to that S3 bucket. And this is our S3 bucket. So still nothing is there. So This particular S3 bucket is not yet came that but uh, that uh, whatever snapshot we are uh, taking back up to this particular S3 bucket is not yet came. So let's go to refresh see if it is came or not. Oh yeah it is came now right now that whatever we are exported right. So we can see here that export or JSON export cloud tech info RDS S3 JSON and one more folder inside that then our database table also is there if you see here and one partition only it is created and if you go here inside that this format data is created which is more faster than any other format data copy okay guys so let's go to here and let's see what basically this content here let's open this and let's open this and here readable is very difficult so let's me take you in this json formatter and we will format that data here see if we able to see here our employee id and name we have given there and then its completed status is showing computer set and database is empty it's a target is post case right so now let's go to that other part here To 
inside that cloud tech of the gameplay and one more we have right so let's download that one so download is complete now let me open this same thing we can see here all the object also here also if you see right no need to format also database empty and this one okay guys so i hope this is how we can export that particular snapshot rds snapshot to a particular s3 let me go to here yeah see here also it is completed so that snapshot taking uh, successful so i hope this this session will helpful to you guys and like this we can export uh, that uh, rds snapshot to a particular s3 bucket and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then i will request you guys please subscribe my channel to support me and that will really inspire to me and motivate to me Okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye